the Midwestern U.S. state of Illinois, there's a new recycling initiative that its creator hopes will revolutionize biomass waste conversion. The company Chip Energy converts scrap wood into mulch, fuel, and other products, and it'll be doing all this in a facility that's made completely from recycled material. On assignments, Martin Seacrest talked with VOA's Kane Farba to find out how the whole idea got started. Let's take a look. It began uh, right after Hurricane Katrina. He was watching coverage of the disaster and looking at, especially during the flooding and all of the waste that's developed when uh, things are destroyed in the course of an event like that. He was looking at all of this wood waste, all of this biomass waste, and he asked himself, what's happening to all that waste? Where is it going? Well, it was going into landfills. It was going into dumps. And he, he was very aware that it didn't have to go there. It didn't have to do that. Outside rural Goodfield, Illinois, is a pile of wood that weighs 4.5 million kilograms. Some people call it garbage, not Paul Weaver. I look at this as oil barrels stacked one on top of the other. It's a pile of energy. For several years, companies with industrial waste, like wooden crates, have used Weaver to cart the materials away. Weaver converts the wood into mulch, fuel, and other products that he can sell. My customers presently pay me to take the material and convert it into a value-add product. If I'm successful, I'll end up paying them. He's a metal engineer by trade. Uh, you know, he does a lot of work with heavy industrial equipment. And so he began to develop this facility uh, using that experience to uh, efficiently and cost-effectively develop a center that could accept that biomass material. And as we understand it, it took him some time even to convince the local councils that this idea was viable, right? Yeah, well, first of all, there is no facility in place when this idea begins, essentially. What he starts doing is accepting wood or waste wood from large companies around him, like Caterpillar and so forth, and he just puts it onto this massive pile. So what these officials see over the course of months and years isn't a facility being constructed, but a major or, or large wood pile of garbage being accumulated. And so a lot of people question, what is he doing over there? Uh, it wasn't until the last couple of months he actually started to get the shipping containers in place where he's able to start construction of the facility that the idea starts to become more of a reality to people. And I think now a lot of people have certainly bought into the idea. Are, are, are the products coming out of this, is it, is it simply wood mulch that he's producing or, or does he have other uh, products in mind here? Uh, yeah, there's certainly other products. Um, I mean, first of all, there's actually wood that doesn't even have to be processed that can be recycled or, or simply sold back to companies that need, uh, you know, uh, thick wood, wood pieces, you know, not necessarily wood that's been damaged, but, you know, certain wood that comes off of crates or pallets is actually good just to be reused by selling it back to a company that, that needs that wood. But he also produces um, uh, wood pellets, combustible materials, things that wood could be used as fuel for, and a lot of it uh, is actually helping fuel other things. They could actually heat homes. You know, I thought that the facility he's building out of these shipping containers is fascinating. It looks a little bit like a Lego construction from the outside. What does it look like inside? Well, it might look like a Lego structure on the inside, too, because you have these bricks, essentially, these boxes, which stacked on top of each other, uh, form rooms. They form, uh, you know, uh, hallways and so forth. And what he's been able to do is construct staircases in between uh, that enable you to walk up and down. Uh, now, really, what you see in the pictures in the report that I filed is really probably maybe about one-tenth, I would say, to maybe one-eighth of, of what the overall large building will look like. It will look more like a regular standard structure that's uh, more box-like in shape. Uh, there will be, you know, a, a walls and silos on the outside and then a roof over top of everything once it's all constructed. Does Paul Weaver talk about exporting his idea both for this biomass recycling of wood and for making the facility to other countries and places? Is this something he can do? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very much something that he can do. Again, to, something to remember here, this is a project which he is funding by himself. Um, he's gotten some grant money, but it doesn't cover a lot of the expenses it creates or it costs to create this facility. What he is showing is that all you have to do is get these containers, assemble them in such a way in which they're safe and sound, and you can construct many things, not just a biomass recycling facility, but many things out of these structures. And all the material is there ready for you to use, and it's a lot uh, cheaper than using newer steel or concrete.
And one of the advantages of the new recycling facility, its reduced price tag, about $2 million, down from the $6 million a conventionally constructed building like it would have cost.